हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ संजीनी रस्तौगी वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू हाउ कैन वी मेक नैंड यूजिंग सी मॉस इन वाटर और यू कैन से नैंड यूजिंग एन मॉस एन पी मॉस इन एल टी स्पाइस सो बेसिकली वी आर गोइंग टू मेक द स्कीमेटिक ऑफ नैंड गेट एंड वी विल सप्लाई द वोल्टेज एंड सी हाउ आर सर्किट वर्क एंड सी द सिमुलेशन so to start with this is my lt spice window as you can see here lt spice i'm using lt spice version 17 you can take any of the lt spice version to make the schematic i'll click on new schematic this is my lt spice window this is how it looks like now i'll take two pmos devices and connect them in parallel as we know that happens in nand gate and then i'll take two and most devices and connect them in series so to start with i'll click on the component icon this is the component icon here i'll click on and mos as you can see there are two and mos available and mos and and mos 4 the only difference is that in and mos 4 this body terminal has to be connected externally to ground okay however in nmos this body terminal is already connected to ground okay so i'll take nmos 4 and externally i'll connect this body terminal to ground why i am saying is that when we connect this body termin uh, terminal externally to ground the effect of noise in our circuit simulation is decreased so i'll click on nmos 4 and i'll take two nmos and connect them in series like this to get rid of this extra nmos just right click on your mouse okay now i'll select pmos again there are two pmos available pmos and pmos 4 i'll select pmos and this body terminal i will externally connect to vdd as we are well aware that in pmos the body terminal is connected to vdd and in nmos the body terminal is connected to ground so i'll take pmos 4 and connect pmos 4 like this in parallel to get rid of this extra pmos right click now i'll take three voltages why three let me tell you one voltage is v1 second voltage is v2 means two input voltages v1 and v2 i'm going to perform the nand operation for these two voltages and the third voltage i'm going to take as vdd which is going to drive the circuit I'll click on Control R. I'll press Control plus R so that it gets rotated, and then I'll get rid of the voltage symbol. I'll select wire and connect the circuit like this. Okay. Now I'll connect voltages V1 to one of the PMOS and another voltage to one of the NMOS. like this similarly i'll connect voltage v2 to one of the pmos and then to one of the nmos i'll give vdd so i'll connect vdd like this i'll connect the body terminal of both the pmos to vdd like this okay and uh, first let me put the ground here i am putting the ground like this 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 and this all the voltages i have given ground to both the voltages why because the negative terminal of voltages is always connected to ground and for pmos the body terminal also is connected to the ground like in uh, pmos we have connected this terminal to vdd in nmos this terminal is always connected to ground so i'll click on wire and connect like this okay and get then i'll take the v out and if you want to label it you can also label this using this label net simply write v out and select the port type as output and click on okay and this is it now i'll give v1 as pulse input 
zero. V on I am taking as five. V delay is zero. I don't want any delays. Rise time and fall time both I am taking as five nanoseconds. T on I am taking as uh, let's take forty. Milli and period let's take as eighty. In the next V two, in the next voltage V two, I'll take the periods as half and T on as half of the previous input. V initial zero, V on is five. Sorry, V on is five. Delay zero, rise time five nano, fall time five nano. T on in previous we took as forty, so here I'll take as twenty milli. Period I'll take as forty milli. Previously we took as eighty milli. To make our circuit look good, better, I'll just drag it here. Okay, so that the value of these voltages does not overlap with my circuit schematic. Right click. I'll give five volts as VDD and click on Enter. Click on Simulate and go to Edit Simulation command. Since I want to see the transient analysis, I'll run this circuit for 80 milliseconds and then I'll click on OK. Place it this anywhere in the circuit. Simply run it. Now this is my run window where I'll see the output waveforms. If you want to tile this window vertically, just click on Window, go to Tile Vertically. In the output window, I want to see three waveforms, V1, V2 and V out. So right click here, add plot plane, add plot plane. In the first one, click here like this. Go to V1, so V1 waveform will appear here. S click on second plot plane, come here, click on V2. This red symbol means you are going to measure the voltage. And if you see, this is the black symbol, arrow means current and red means voltage okay in the third plot plane i need to see my v out so click here go to this and just click on red button since we are well aware of the characteristics of nand gate whenever both the inputs are high the output is low and when any of the input is high the output is high for 0 0 i'm getting 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 0 these are the characteristics of NAND and we have verified it. I hope that you have learned how to make NAND gate using CMOS. So if you like this video, do like it, comment and share. Also tell me in the comment section which all videos you would like to see for me to draw in the Altispice. Thank you.